Quester, who do you want to? Not, not of. Okay, oh. so Quester, who do you want me to follow? Uh, I guess follow the. If he be here, I guess follow the pro loss one. <laughs> I knew it. All right, so I'm good. So intro. So spawning at the bottom. Um, it is the Singaporean Protoss going for some shenanigans. It is Leo Russia, and on the other side, the guy who oh, sent no. the replay, the guy who can't pronounce his clan tag. It is Dark and Pure. And um, um, for those watching on YouTube, yes, two poems are coming across. For those watching on YouTube in the future, we cast this live every Tuesday. You want to replace cast it, send it in to me. Um, and yeah. Okay. New um, rush. Yep, cannon rush. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> this. Should look like a. Oh no, there's two probes already shown. What's he doing? Oh, Taking... gas oh! Gas. He's attempting to gas steal, but the, the drones are there to block the second one. So the probes are trying to scare the drones away and then take the gas. I oh, think... but he's gonna lose a... Oh no. Oh my god, he gets it <laughs> I think Dark and Pure could have just hold position uh, on uh, one of the, the yeah. extractors. I think he just right clicked and didn't hold position them, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, this map is actually pretty bad for cannon rushing. Uh, the space behind the minerals is pretty huge, but uh... I think the spawning pool got delayed as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's oh, probably dear. five to ten seconds late. Yeah, this, this makes the cannon rush uh, significantly harder to deal with. Oh, screw that! Just cancels it immediately. Okay. Yeah, actually, I think uh, Dark Imperial might actually be able to hold the cannon rush by pulling drones. Uh, yeah. Needed to do it earlier, but... So, uh, the thing with... Uh, the thing with... Cannon rush just... Uh, that is this late, especially when it's a forge first. He, uh, he, uh, you should be able to deny the cannons if your hatcheries are more than... Uh, when your hatcheries are yellow HP. Yeah, so that's what you usually want to do. So as long as the as long as the probe makes the pylon when the hatchery is yellow HP, right? You can actually uh pull drones and make spines and you you can defend it. Alright, Leo's making the cyber core at home but not actually as part of the wall. Uh not sure why, but maybe he wants to stick a cannon in the gun. Denying the gas for this long is really nice for uh, the Protoss though. I think Dark Imperial manage, manages to secure his uh, second base. Yeah, got the got the natural up. Has links patrolling it. Uh, even has an extractor there, so you can start mining gas now. But it's quite late. Yeah, I think this looks a little bit rather strange because usually if you wanna do the robo the robo build. You would just want to have the pylon on the high ground and swarm the main base because usually it's you won't be taking a a nexus as well. Uh. Yeah, but he looks like he might. Yeah. These links. Oh, the battery's about to finish. Oh dear. <laughs> That's a lot of links wasted. Yep. So right now, I think he needs uh, ravages. Uh, to deal with this, but unfortunately he doesn't have a road draw enough and he only has things to deal with this. Uh Yeah, this looks really Leo bad. Leo doesn't for, uh, have uh, high ground vision though. Yeah, but I think once the warp prism comes out and yeah, I think it's really hard for, for What's like a stop, yeah. Yep. And I would prefer for Leo Russia to actually have more uh, uh, shield batteries now. I don't think one is yeah. enough. Yeah, the models really need like a couple shield batteries to heal up. Uh, otherwise, they just take too much of a beating and you can't really do too much of them. Oh, the probe! <laughs> it's okay, there's batteries there. Right, there we go. Um, You usually want to do this on high ground just because then you don't have to worry about high ground vision and uh, it's more in the face of the Zerg, where they have to deal with it immediately. Mm 
Yeah, but with low link speed as well, it's gonna be really hard for uh, Leo. Oh, uh, the spine goes down to. Uh, can he even stop this anymore? I think if he just mass links on top of this, I think he might be able to hold it. Yeah, but mm. this doesn't look like a, a lot of stuff coming up from the Leo Rush's side. No, yeah. Leo's just slowly getting more and more and more those. Yeah. Uh... Okay, Dark and Bill's finally getting some roaches out, but... He needs to morph them to Ravages. Right He's now. got two Ravages, but uh, not enough, I don't think. The yeah, models are working on the spine crawlers as well. Yeah. Like, this would be... much harder for the Prism to... Uh, work well if it was the last patch where the queens had more range. Yeah, I, and I think he needs to snipe the the front the fr the front battery right now because it's gonna give uh, Liu Russia a lot of space to maneuver with. Yeah, like background. right now he can just kind of stand yeah. here. But oh, the rabbit just on the back. Yep, it's gonna bow. Oh, it, unfortunately, it's not gonna lose <laughs> all the. the wow, these are well. <laughs> Yeah, this Immortals is just getting a lot of value. One, uh, both of them having a combined kill of 40. And I think this is gonna be very rough for Dunk to go. I'm not sure you can stop this anymore. Yeah, um, like, I think, I think it's gonna be very hard for Dunk to actually stop this push right now. Oh, Leo Rush has supply blocked, right? Uh, uh doesn't yeah. really matter though, the models yeah. are... Really good what? control from Leo Rush actually, keeping all the Immortals alive right now. Oh no! He oh, loses I'm one? Oh no, he loses, loses two. Okay, that's really yeah. bad. Yeah, that was a um, a big micro mistake from Leo Rush. Losing two models there. But I think he's gonna hold pretty nicely, considering the amount of two berries. Uh, he just lost the last immortal, so... Uh, oh, no. yeah, yeah, I think he just threw awesome. through this game. You can't yeah. fight so far away from a shield had the race without excellent prison micro, and uh, it was yeah, just shy of good. Usually, you don't want to lose any models, ideally, again, uh, with this uh, shield battery cannon rush. Yeah, you, you need all the models you can to yeah. actually overwhelm the Zerg, otherwise they just kind of trickle units and kill you. Uh, yeah, fortunately, uh, Tom Pierre only has uh, two Ravages left. Yeah, but it, this is gonna look so rough for... Oh, but uh, yeah, the, ba the batteries are all running out of energy, yeah. and I think the probe actually got killed uh, somehow. So he can't even make more shield batteries for the models to survive off of. So instead he's just gonna try to macro up at home, but I don't think he can even live at home if he has to go home like that. Uh, not... Yeah, yeah I think uh, without uh, the support of the shield batteries, these models aren't gonna have a lot of um, leeway to, to play upon. Yeah, the the bad the cannon bad is just slowly getting dismantled, and yeah, he can't he yeah. can't do this anymore. I think Dark and Kill actually make the uh, make a really good choice of just uh, trying to kill all the shoe berries and stuff. I would, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it's... he can't depower the robot facilities because of the three pylons there. Yeah, and a really good uh, a smart move by Dark and Kill just backing off, keeping his beverage account alive, which is really important against this kind of push. Yeah. He really almost died uh, because of the opener where he got both both gases stolen, but yeah. um, it, it's mostly because of Leo Rush's mistakes that uh, he fought so far away from the batteries that caused him to lose three immortals, which is not a lot that you can afford when you do this kind of this kind of rush. And oh, loses oh, another oh, one, oh dear. Yeah, manages to thin out the Ravage account as well, so I think it's gonna be uh, real close. Three models are definitely able to take down uh, this uh, army here, unless the reinforcements comes in. I actually don't like this uh, push from uh, New Russia. Uh, fighting so far yeah. off of yeah the batteries, it's just so dangerous. And uh, once the models don't have the hardened shields, yeah, he's gonna lose another one. Okay, he ah uh, oh he's gonna pick up oh. pick up. Okay. Nice. Oh no, he's gonna lose one though. Yep, there we go. Almost loses another one, but yeah, the batteries here are out of energy. You can't hold this position anymore, there's no cannons uh, to really threaten. He needed to send like a backup probe here, but because he walled off his, uh, his bases, he had no way of getting probes out. Uh. Yeah, I think uh, Tom Kyo actually has a lot of extra gas to move ravages as well. 
yeah. so that the uh, immortal doesn't do the extra uh, 30 damage against armor. Yeah, it's this push. It has been continuing for almost 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah I, I think that. <laughs> I think both of them are actually almost mining. Yeah, the main base of both sides are actually almost mining. Starting to mine out, yeah. Yeah. But it, yeah, it, it's the Leo kind of just. Uh... Uh, made a few yeah. very key mistakes here that made him cost him the cannon rush despite the amazing double gas steals. Yeah, I think uh, Leo Rush is actually losing uh, his uh, potential, I guess, his strength for the push. Yeah, he's only got two prisms, uh, two prisms, two models in the prism left. Uh, he's gonna lose the robo, and uh, the Zerg army is probably just gonna march across the map, kill these two bad, kill these two cannons, and then just mount in. Uh, and yeah, there's not really I much that Leo can do about it. I really like the two models harassing the uh, with the prism right yeah. now because it keeps the zerg at home. The zerg from uh, yeah, it keeps the zerg at home. And if he wants to attack, he has to leave uh, uh, some units behind to defend against the warp prism as well. He yeah. he is getting as much value as he can out of this prism. Oh, he needs to not lose them. Yeah, I think he's so far. Leo Russ is actually doing a pretty good job in keeping uh, Dark Pure in his uh, base. Yeah, and I think. Leo Russ is actually preparing for uh, a macro game. He's actually wow. yeah making probes right now. Yeah. But it looks like he kind of realized that the rush wasn't really going to work and just made the natural at home and started attacking up which uh... Yeah. I think the game is gonna start to slow down and stabilize here. Yeah, although uh, If he doesn't said, just die to the Zerg here then yeah. With that said, I think uh Down Kill's actually going for a push right now. Um, I. There's like. Is there storm? Uh, I no. don't think. No. Yeah, but it looks like uh, it's gonna take uh, Dark Imperial quite a while to break this wall with the amount of ravages he have actually. I'm surprised there isn't a shield battery here just so they can overcharge the cannons. Uh... Yeah, but I think Leo Rush actually has uh, a lot of time to prepare for this push considering that uh, he doesn't have a lot of ravages to bow down the buildings as well. More things on ravages now, and should be able to build on the cannons in one go. But uh... the models at at the at the next at the third base of Dark Imperial actually got a lot of damage. Actually, I think he killed. I believe he killed a few drones, and yeah, it's continuously harassing Dark Imperial's mirror line as well. Yeah, he at this point he's killed like uh, actually only killed five workers, but he's killed like one hundred and fifty-two units, which is uh. Yeah, it's just keeping uh, Dark Imperial honest. He has to keep a, a little, a few units at the back. Yeah. Yeah, that's because Micro is really good. Yeah, I think he has redeemed himself uh, uh, with the uh, Model Micro now. Yeah, and I think it's going, actually going for a push. Yeah. Uh, at the same time though, Dark Imperial is about to barge into Leo's base. Uh, so I think Leo's about to go for a base trade. Yeah, but I, I think in this case, I would prefer uh, Leo's, Leo's position. position. Yeah, yeah. that's because of the strategic recall he can do. Oh, but the models! Oh no! Uh... Uh... I see. You... Oh! Okay, uh... Dark Impure just gives up, uh... Yeah, I think Dark Impure actually, uh... Just... Didn't have enough units to break. Uh, Leo Rush's neck. Yeah, and uh... Yeah, the two models came back and... Yeah, with charged lot support, you can't really kill the ra you can't really yeah. kill the <laughs> no the rabbit just get killed at home. He also didn't have enough to defend. So yeah, even if it helped the push uh, from uh, Leo Russia, he just didn't have enough drone count to actually just uh, carry on. It, it almost looked like Leo was about to lose that game, but uh, because he realized that he was losing the cannon rush already, he just macroed up at home and uh, yeah, got as much was... value out of everything he had. Yeah, that was a really good call from uh, Leo Rush as well. Although I think the the micro the immortal micro at the start was a little bit sloppy, but he actually made up with uh, with the follow up immortal yeah, micro. Yeah, with the follow up. Yep. Okay. Well, so if you enjoyed this series, do like and subscribe. Uh, we stream. <laughs> Well, we stream uh, view submitted replays every Tuesday at 6, 7 p.m. KST. Uh, if you want your replay casted, just reach out to me via Twitter or find a way to reach me. And all the information will be down below. For my co-casters here, um, Nameless, where can they find you? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, you can find me at uh, nameless dot uh, nameless underscore sc two uh, on Twitch. Yep, he does StarCraft 2 content with a little bit of Dark Souls inside. It seems he's a bit of a... He enjoys dying. <laughs> and for Crested, where can they find you? Uh, YouTube.com slash... Uh, I don't actually know how the channel, <laughs> channel links work for YouTube. It's okay, yeah, it's just... okay. For, for both of them, their content will be down below. And Crested also does lots of other cool stuff that we should we should check out. Alright, see ya.